Welcome to PowerTech Insights. In this tutorial, we'll guide you through the full load or short circuit test of Power Transformer without any special equipment. In this video, we are going to perform full load or short circuit test of Power Transformer. Let's get started. The short circuit test measures the full load losses of a transformer. It is performed by energizing a transformer with its secondary LV winding shorted. Thus, the secondary winding resistance drops to zero and maximum current flows in the secondary winding. Winding resistance testing is essential for assessing the condition of transformer winding. It helps detect issues like loose connections, winding deformation, or contamination. To ensure safety, always verify proper grounding before testing. Avoid touching any live parts. Use PPE to protect yourself including insulated gloves and safety glasses. Testing transformers can be dangerous. Ensure that all safety protocols are in place, such as personal protective equipment, lockout tagout procedures, and proper grounding. Equipment and tools required. One to three phase 100 amperes breaker that a breaker should be rated at least 125% of the full load current to allow for transient currents and safe operation. 2. Voltmeter 3. Amperes meter or clamp meter 4. Short circuit test setup, including cables, terminals, and a controlled environment for safety 5. to 25 MBA 11 kV to 33 kV transformer 6. 420V voltage power supply 7. to 20 mm 3 core cable Available 3 phase transformer data Transformer rating 25 MBA HV nominal voltage 33 kV, LV nominal voltage 11 kV, turns ratio 3 to 1. Use the formula to calculate the full load current at nominal voltages 33 kV on the HV side and 11 kV on the LV side. So, the HV current at 33 kV should be 433 amperes per phase. And the LV current at 11 kV should be 1,312 amperes per phase. Connect a 420V three-phase AC power supply to the HV side of the transformer through a 100 amperes breaker. Ensure the breaker is properly rated for your test conditions, current limit, and safety features. Since the turns ratio of the transformer, which we are using is 3 to 1, the voltage ratio will also be 3 to 1. This means that the voltage on the LV side will be one-third of the HV side at SO when 420V is applied on the HV side. The LV voltage will be 140V. Switch on the circuit breaker and apply 420V 
Three-phase AC power on the HV side of the transformer. Now we have the new LV voltage 140V. We will measure the full load current based on the applied voltage of 420V on the HV side and the LV side of the transformer. Now check the current on each phase on HV side and current at 420V should be 34.4 amperes per phase with clamp meter. Line 1, Line 2, Line 3 and check the current on each phase on LV side and current at 140V should be 103.1 amperes per phase with clamp meter. Line 1, Line 2, Line 3 determines the full load losses and ensures safe transformer operation under control conditions. Regular short circuit testing helps in early fault detection, improving the reliability and longevity of the transformer. For more power transformer testing tutorials, subscribe to PowerTech Insights. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more expert tutorials. See you in the next video.